Hi guys, I'm Carolina. I'm coming to you from the 23rd floor of our construction site here at home office. And I'm here with Jay, who's a uh, project manager. So let, let him introduce himself. Hi, my name is Jay. Uh, I work for Corporate Real Estate, and uh, we've been working on this project since November of 2010. Awesome, and what exactly are we looking at here? Uh, right now, as uh, Carolina said, we're on the 23rd floor. We're looking towards the north. We can see the Charles River. Uh, we can see downtown financial district in the background and all of the Boston Common and the State House. Perfect, so we're gonna get started with the tour, so let's get going. So now we're here on the 21st floor. Could you tell us what we're exactly we're looking at? Well, what we've got here on a high-rise, typical high-rise floor, is you're looking at the concrete core, which is poured all in one go. We're looking at um, the, all of the steel framing for the building that goes from the concrete core out to the window wall, which has all been spray fireproofed. And uh, the neat thing about this floor plate is it'll hold uh, probably 150 people, uh, and it's only got three columns. Awesome, and now we're gonna go down to the sixth floor and check that out, so let's keep going. We're on the third floor and we're looking out uh, of the south elevation at, at the back of the precast panels with the limestone facade and also the spray-on fireproofing columns. This is what we call a punched window uh, and the window frames are yet to be set here uh, but they will be set uh, very soon. So we've walked down to the second floor and we are taking a look at what will be the lobby and as you can see the front doors are over there. Um, and this is going to be a staircase in front of me that people are going to be able to walk up to. So now that we're off the construction site, we're going to catch up with Jay about some of the facts and the bigger picture about the building. So. When did the project begin and when was the projected um, finishing date? We acquired the building in 2009. Um, negotiations uh, for the acquisition of uh, Salvation Army started quite a bit uh, before that in the previous year. We did the demolition in uh, late 2010 uh, along with Ben Franklin Smith and we started on site 2011. The projected completion is still on schedule targeted for June 2013. Great, and how many employees will this new building see? The capacity of the building is nearly 3,000 people. Mm -hmm. um, at the move-in date, starting around uh, July of 2013, and through the rest of the year, we will move in approximately 2,400 people, leaving some expansion space um, throughout the tower. Awesome. And how is this um, new building, the construction site, how is it going to affect jobs in Boston and in Liberty Mutual? Well, um, during the, uh, uh, the difficult 2009-2010 recession, we were able to add, um, over the period of construction, nearly 500 construction jobs. And uh, we are still uh, on track to add 600 new Liberty employee jobs. So one of the things that employees and interns have been excited about has been the cafeteria. Can you tell us more about what the cafeteria will be like? The cafeteria is going to be absolutely beautiful. Picture a uh, two-story space uh, in, many, in many locations will have uh, double height. We have a piece of public art that's going to be in the rotunda uh, by the corner of Berkeley and Columbus. And um, we'll have lovely wood ceilings uh, and lots and lots of natural light. So it's going to be a fabulous space with uh, seating for 700 people on two floors. Great. That's awesome. And in your opinion, what is the most impressive thing about this building and its design? Well, as an architect, I think the, the thing that impresses me the most about the design is the limestone facade, which is very much in character with all the neighboring buildings. And the bridge is also a wonderful piece uh, connecting the campus it's going to be all glass, uh, lovely 
arch over Stewart Street, and you can already see it, stainless steel. Um, it's just going to be a beautiful piece of sculpture for the city. Awesome. Thank you for the tour, and thank you for catching up with us today. You're very welcome.